There is the cat. Do you see the cat? Behold the cat. Oh, you don't yet. Okay, well, now you do. Now, behold the cat. Isn't she a precious baby? All right, we're good. We've got a cat cam. All right, folks. It is now time to start the stream. I have a cat, as you can see. I have a game and a functional controller and a functional computer. And presumably at this point you can hear, well, you can't right now because there's barely any background noise, but you should be able to hear your things in Hades just fine too. Um, so confirm that you can hear this. Oh, hold on. I'm going to need to turn it up. It was too quiet in my ears. So it's going to be too quiet in your ears. Look at Sophie. She's really excited about this. She's watching what's happening on the screen. Oh my god, she's transfixed. Amazing. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Alright, how's that? How's that audio balance? There we go. Alright, well, I'll fiddle with it some more, maybe. But Sophie is having a good old time watching Zagreus run around. All right, so I'm going to run around a little bit here so that Sophie can be entertained. But do you recall what happened last time? We had a particularly exciting and noteworthy adventure. Um, we managed to make it all the way up to Hades and then through Hades because uh, the sword is very good at button mashing um, and it did really big damage. So I mashed some buttons and did some damage. It was very exciting. Hold on, it's a little bit loud. Uh, so it was very exciting news for me. Um, because obviously God Mode is making that little bit of a difference as far as being able to survive things. I mean, honestly, I don't think last time was a little bit of a difference. Like last time I was so ridiculously overpowered. It was, it was absurd. It was completely absurd. Um... <laughs> I feel like I was super overpowered in it. So we just smashed through everything and fought Hades without losing a single Death Defiance, which was crazy. So from a gameplay perspective, that was very exciting. And um, and it was a lot of fun, honestly, frankly. I think the sword is really fun. Speaking of the sword, um, we do need to try Aspect of Arthur once we get enough, <laughs> enough Titan blood to unlock it, um, which I don't think I have right now. Yeah, I'm just shy of it, um, but uh, but it was exciting. Um, it was an exciting time, gameplay-wise, um, but story-wise, a bunch of interesting things happened. So, first of all, we managed to achieve Chaos's locked heart, um, and Chaos made a request, I think because of that, which was basically bring the Chaos egg the next time you go to fight Hades. And I was like, if I'm doing well enough and I don't think I'll need a functional keepsake, I will do just that. So I expected some sort of a scene to happen, but nothing did happen. Um, that no, there was no scene, there was no conversation. Chaos didn't participate or anything like that. Like if you'll recall, I summoned, oh, oh, I forgot that I had friends to summon. Oh, you can summon friends. I forgot that you could summon friends. I didn't summon any help against Hades. I forgot that was a thing you can do. Whoops. Anyway, we had some, I had summoned Skelly last time and uh, Hades had things to say about Skelly. It was just delightful, amazing. I was really, really quite pleased with Hades being annoyed by Skelly. Um, but Chaos didn't get summoned or participate in any way. But Chaos did laugh. And I didn't notice at the time because I was busy kind of having feelings about what had just happened. Um, but Chaos laughed um, as Hades went down. So I'm very curious what they're going to have to say because obviously we're going to go see them the next chance we get. Um, but other things of note, we made it... Well, first of all, Hades was like, I wish none of us had ever been born. I wish the universe had never been created. The universe should never have sprung forth from Chaos. So he might have been a little, it might have been a little bit needlessly dramatic on Hades's part. 
Um, but he's clearly really depressed and upset about things, which we kind of knew about. Um, I have used the gun, yes. Um, I, I, I think... Did I make it? Did I make it out with the gun? I had some good runs that didn't quite make it through um, with the guns. Um, gun, singular. Um, yeah, so maybe it will do nothing but amuse me, but I expect that Chaos will have something to say when we finally talk to them again. Like, I suspect that that is the unlocking of the heart. We'll see what happens. They said, if you'll recall, um, you keep giving me things, but I'm not giving you anything else. And I know some humans don't like that. Or mortals, I suppose, don't like that. Gods specifically don't like that. Um, so, so like, make sure you're okay with that. And Zagreus is totally okay with that. Zagreus is not trying to bribe Chaos for Chaos's boons. Zagreus is like, you're some sort of a grandparent to me and I like you, so I'm giving you things because I am a good grandson. Which he is. Um... So, uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what comes of the rest of this. If they give me something to summon them, for example, um, which I don't really expect. And so there are only six summon spots in the keepsake chest. So it can't be everybody. So I don't know exactly who or what it is. I don't know if it's like the first six are the ones that you get or, or if only six, but I, I, I imagine that chaos doesn't give you any. I imagine that it's the uh, others of note that give them, well, yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see, we'll see, I'm not sure. Um, but, oh my gosh, I'm gonna just scoot this back a bit so that you can see the full kitty when she looks up and when she looks down, cause she's so cute. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what that unlocks and we'll see what chaos says. Um, but then we made it up to the surface um, and we had a conversation with Persephone in which uh, Persephone is trying to figure out why on earth Hades is doing what he's doing. And I told you like that I suspected that there was some motivation going on there that wasn't like just because he's an awful dad. Um, and so Persephone thinks that he is trying to protect her, trying to keep the Olympians from knowing that she's, well, knowing where she is, um, to the point of killing her son repeatedly <laughs> to try to keep the Olympians from finding her, um, which is interesting. And it makes me wonder what have the Olympians done or what have they threatened to do? that has resulted in Persephone so wanting to avoid them at all costs and Hades willing to do whatever to try to, if, if she's correct, to try to shield her. Um, I don't know. Because she's made it clear she doesn't trust the Olympians. Um, she doesn't really trust anyone. Uh, and the Olympians don't know but maybe Hades doesn't know that the Olympians don't know, you know? Um, I also thank you, Ampy. Sorry, I'm fiddling with the sound here a bit. Does my cat like anchovies? She probably would. There was actually, um, we had groceries delivered um, a couple of weeks ago and they accidentally put somebody else's fish in my order and I didn't realize this. So I was putting some groceries away and I couldn't figure out why Sophie was tearing into a bag, like destroying a bag. It was because they were frozen anchovies and she, if I'd caught her like five seconds later, she would have run off with a, with a frozen fish. Um, so probably she likes anchovies. I'm guessing she likes sleeping. She likes attention. She likes playing. She's very cute. Um, yeah. So, so bad guy who thinks they're doing the right thing is certainly more interesting. Now that doesn't justify the way he treats Zagreus, frankly. Um, and so I think this may wind up being a situation in which we find Hades interesting and we understand where he's coming from, but we still disagree with his methods. Um, but we'll see. We'll see kind of, it's, it's hard to say at this point because there's clearly really, really big pieces of the story going on that we don't know about. Um, but it will be, I think, a lot more interesting than just bad dad for bad dad's sake. Yeah, so, so are the gods feuding with one another um, is a good question. Like, or are they at risk of feuding with one another? Because so far, they mostly seem to be working together. Mostly. Hermes is up to something. Um, 
And it's clear that Athena, for example, is working hard trying to keep Demeter from fighting with everyone else. Um, and Demeter is definitely a problem. She is definitely like a controlling in your face, everything my way, everything's about me, etc, etc, etc person. So having her as your mother would probably be somewhat unpleasant. But I don't know. I don't know. Keeping spring locked away and an internal winter, which is really bad for the world and presumably bad for the Olympians. I don't know. There's something going on, though. I also know that it took most of Nyx's power to save Zagreus's life and that she was not in her full power for a long time. And she's beginning to get her power back. So that may be related to something. But the specifics beyond that, I don't know. So we'll find out eventually. Um, for now, I'm dying to see if anyone has anything to say about what I talked to Persephone about. And I'm dying to talk to Chaos again. So let's go talk to everybody, shall we? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because I don't think we had any major progress. Progress, just interesting conversations with our, with our friends, our mortal friends. So we're working on it. All right, let's talk to Hypnos, who starts off. He is the least interesting one here. Sorry, Hypnos. Maybe there's more to him. I don't know. We may never know. I only have so much friendship juice to go around, Hypnos, and you're pretty low on my priority list. I'm sorry. Oh, hi. Um, you're welcome. Just go right ahead, I guess. Uh, okay. Don't you see, boy? You are trapped. Dad is cutting in line. Dad... Don't you see how low you are on my priority list? I gotta go talk to whoever is in the uh, west wing of the house before I talk to you. Just gotta like work my way around. That's how you do it. Um. Yeah, there were a couple that had eternal punishments. Not, not just those two, but it was not everybody. So that's why they had multiple sections of, um, of the underworld as represented by the different sections that we go through like elysium was where heroes go kind of like valhalla um and then asphodel which is not actually supposed to be lava field that's persephone's area as i've mentioned several times i don't know yeah prometheus was um chained to a mountain yes and an eagle came and ate his liver which seems like it would suck a lot i'm sorry prometheus all you wanted to do was help Yes, Thanatos. We're gonna give Thanatos friendship juice. Hold on, let's see what Achilles has to say. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Hey, tell me something, sir. Any rumors swirling about the house regarding the outcome of a certain interaction I had with my father recently? <laughs> Involving a great deal of violence. Because I'd like for everyone to know I won. Oh my god. Oh my god, Zagreus, you petty child. I love you so much. He's like, just, let the gossip mills know that I beat my dad. I wouldn't know of what you mean there, lad. For there are certain subjects so forbidden here right now that not even rumors can take hold. Right now. But just between us for the time, congratulations. Truly. Good. Yeah, Zagreus definitely wants Achilles' approval because Achilles is, I mean, his, his surrogate father figure given that he lacks a decent father figure. It's part of how he's turned out so well. Um. Thank you, sir. I didn't know whether I had it in me. As for the other bit, I'll keep it quiet then, for now. Okay. Probably shouldn't be tying my sense of self-worth to praise from friends, acquaintances, and strangers anyway. This is, by the way, like, the VG Advisor Twitter account could retweet this, because you shouldn't, you probably shouldn't tie your sense of self-worth to praise from anyone. You should, as much as possible, strive for your sense of self-worth to be intrinsic. Founded in yourself, and not anywhere or anything outside. So good job, Zagreus, modeling healthy thoughts and healthy feelings and healthy behaviors for everybody who plays this game. What a good boy. I love him. Yes, that's right, Sophie. I love you too, kitten. Yes, it's a good kitten. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I studied Greek mythology a lot. I read a lot of myths. I've talked to a lot of people to, to learn that apparently there are entire aspects of mythology that I never encountered. Because there's some big mythological, like, enthusiasts on YouTube, apparently, that put together videos that people enjoy watching. Um, but yeah, so uh, so I wouldn't I wouldn't say that Norse mythology and Greek mythology have, like, 
tons of direct parallels, but I would say specifically Valhalla and Elysium have some similarities as far as who, who winds up there. Not what they do, but that. All right. A oh, wishbone is a good choice, Blue Glass. I haven't thought of wishbone in a while. Excellent. Excellent. Um, all right. So Zagreus drops some Indeed, wisdom. Lad. And Achilles is like, yes, I have raised you well. Good job, my son. All right. Wait. Oh, I can't give him friendship juice. That's right. I already maxed that out. Okay. Well, let's see what he has to say. Hey, Fan. Come join me in the lounge for old time's sake. Coast is clear. The work can wait. Zagreus always would be the bad influence. Come on, Than, let's play hooky. We're going on a date. Please, Thanatos. I kind of ship these two a little bit. You're really asking me to join you for a drink? I mean, you know what? Sure. The work can wait. They're working on patching up their relationship. <laughs> I hope this works. Thanatos has so many feelings, and he doesn't think that he can talk to anyone about his feelings. He can talk to his mom. She tries her best with feelings. She really does. She's really sweet. I somehow knew, you know. I always knew you weren't going to stay. You were so restless here. You just needed a reason to leave. And I hoped you wouldn't find one this quickly. Ugh, what am I saying? You have no idea. Thanatos knew him well enough. I sometimes am frustrated with Thanatos for, in some cases, I think, being too hard on Zagreus. But I do think, for the most part, they are good for each other. I think that Zagreus helps Thanatos lighten up some and find enjoyment in things um because Thanatos is a sensitive flower um but he pushes himself even when he's not happy um and Zagreus would be mindful of that I think generally more so than Thanatos himself um and Thanatos he calls Zagreus out even though he is charmed by Zagreus being Zagreus because he's incredibly charming um he also um is that that doesn't prevent him from being able to be honest and truthful sometimes when Zagreus needs some tough love so but I think it's really sweet like the way that the way that he's like I, I can't I can't blame you I know you're unhappy I just didn't want I just wanted it to take longer because I wanted more time with you is the implication there and that's just really sweet no, I know exactly what you're saying, Than. I'm sorry that I'm putting you through all of this. It's just... It's something that I have to do. But I'm glad we know the truth about me now. Maybe we can move on from there. Yeah. I'm really glad that they get to sit down and talk. Because I think this is something that they've needed to do. And also, I, I honestly think Zagreus has grown up some over the course of this game. I think he's beginning to understand that he didn't understand everything before. Um, that he might have had a more simplistic view of things than is necessarily justified. Um, like, I think he has more of an appreciation for what other people do and are going through on a different level than he didn't at the start of the game. I've always lacked your optimism, Zag. <laughs> anyway, the work has waited long enough. I need to get back to it. Thanks for the drink. Do they count as the sunshine and the sad one? Is that is that the kind of pairing that they are? Is that their is that one of their, their their tropes? Because I kind of feel like it should be. I think it's really charming, and they're really adorable, and I like them. The grumpy one is soft for the sunshine one. Yes, that's it. Thank you, Kerner. I knew you would know the actual phrase because I couldn't think of it. Is that? Is that Thanatos and Zagreus? Because I feel like it is, but you're free to disagree. Do, do, or, 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 or are we in agreement? Because Thanatos isn't like, he's not like mean or nasty or anything, but he, I would say he is a bit grumpy. A bit grumpy. <sighs> hey, 
he has certain things in common with girls that I've been interested in in the past. <laughs> and I have been the sunshine one. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Zagreus, honey. Oh, Zagreus, honey. <laughs> oh, man. Watch yourself out there, Zagreus. I have to go. Oh, there's like the sweetness. See you then. And his voice sometimes. A lot of feeling comes through in the way that his lines are delivered. All right, so now that we've gone on a date with our boyfriend, let's go. I mean, ex boyfriend, whatever. Let's go on a date with our not girlfriend. I do. I'm going to hold off on giving her whatever the next step of this is until I see if I can get that with anyone else and what that looks like and what that means. I don't know. All right, let's talk to our precious little Medusa friend. Deusa, Deusa, Deusa. She's so cute. Oh, hold on, actually. There was, um, fables. There we go. So that's the end of this. She was forced to slither bodily along the ground while shades could float about and bats could fly. She didn't like slithering around while other things could fly. Now Dusa is a floating head. And I kind of wonder if there's any connection there whatsoever. I have no idea. Maybe we'll find out. Because, like, seriously. What? What happened? Or does the hair count as bodies? Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to think too hard about how Dusa's anatomy would work. Um, but I do wonder if she ever had a body or if she's always been a floating head. Because the Gorgons that you fight in, like, in the, like, when you're actually, like, running through the dungeon are just heads. So maybe that's just what Medusa Gorgons are in this version of the universe. I don't know. We're going to talk to her. You know Achilles reasonably well, don't you, Dusa? Seems like he's always stuck there in that hole. At least you get to fly around. Sometimes I think he wishes he was someplace else. Okay, so flying is what she does. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was... Because, you know, she, like, flies up to the... Like, floats up. Yeah. There has to be a way to help him, Prince. He's been so loyal to this house. And he has to be your truest friend of everybody here. But he's the pity party type. He needs someone to get him out of this. Yes, Dusa, let's do it, let's do it. I love that Dusa is getting in on my scheming. Yes. Maybe he does. Maybe you're right, Dusa. I know, but how? Don't answer that. Okay, even Deuce is like, you gotta, you gotta meddle. And I'm like, believe me, I want to meddle. I'm gonna pet my dog. Not everybody knows exactly how to give you pets and live to tell it, right, boy? We're gonna pet our good pets. Look at this good pet. Look at this good girl. Look at this good Sophie Sophie. She's such a good meow. What a good kitten. What a good kitten. Yes, baby cat. Yes, baby cat. Oh. All right, let us talk to the doggy. Although I should let's see, who else do I need? Let's let's we gotta we gotta calculate this out. I need I've got some work to do with Kerberos. Hmm. I need to give some to Orpheus. But other than that, all of my others of note, except for undiscovered, are uh are full. Exciting. The Olympians are not. I've really been neglecting them. Over here, let's see what we got. Hades is locked. Nyx is at the at the at the gate. Zagreus is great, and I just love him very much. Uh Charon, uh I this I don't care about. Thanatos is full. Meg, ugh, we'll get there eventually, I suppose. So, okay, it looks like we could maybe, we, we can afford to start giving some to our puppy. What do we think? What do we think? Should we give some to the puppy? Maybe we can give some to the puppy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Only the very best treats for my best friend, right, boy? Puppy, 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 puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy. Oh. Yes, Sophie really likes treats. Cerberus yelps in merriment upon receiving such a generous offering. Yelp. That's a great word. Because it's a poet. All right, so let us talk to our puppy. The many-headed Cerberus is busy thinking of his next savory meal. I'm sure he is. Why are his tongues yellow? <laughs> Just, and his nose is green. 
just, just some inter time. interesting color choices there. Yes, we have a sleepy kitty. All right, let's talk to Dad, since we can't give him friendship juice, and see what he has to say. How goes your heated rivalry against the greatest king of Athens lately, boy? Your battles with him and the Minotaur must be the talk of the underworld of late. Hades, are you actually going to be a father and, and, and express interest in catching up on your son's life? That's, that would be, that would be, that would be a good step. Honestly, I think that Zagreus would probably have a hard time accepting that. He'd have to get over being upset about things for a while before he could get to the point where he'd be like, okay, I can actually answer this question. But it would be a good first step. That's part of why it's hard to patch things up. Because even if someone steps up and tries to do the right thing, if the other person is hurting, they're not going to fall into it. They're not going to forgive necessarily. So the, so sometimes a person can be like, oh, I tried and you aren't accepting it. So there's no point in me even trying. It's like, no. No, you do have to stick with it. You do have to earn their trust and their openness. I don't know that Hades is doing that, though. I think he's just going to bait Zagreus, and he's just going to insult Zagreus. And so I think Zagreus is probably going to assume that he's just trying to get a rise out of him. Admitted, Father. Theseus was the only hero you were able to recruit to stand against me. All the while, he gets to boast about being the champion. Or was Heracles too busy for the task? Huh. That is a good question, actually. There aren't any other named heroes that we have to fight other than those two. And Asterius is technically not a named hero, according to Greek mythology. Speak not to me of Heracles. You know these heroes by their deeds, not by their character. Heracles is fortunate he's in my brother's favor. Right! Else he'd be in Tartarus <laughs> where he belongs. The mortal concept of what constitutes a hero is absurd. <laughs> uh. See, there's the Olympian pettiness coming out. <laughs> no, I haven't seen Encanto yet. I would like to. Um, so the Thinking Saber Cat. Um, I don't know that I would say that the Aztec mythology doesn't have any gods that looked humanoid. There are gods that don't look humanoid, but I believe there are gods who do. Now, I'm not an expert on Aztec mythology, but I have you know, read some, done a little bit of reading for, for school and otherwise. So, yes, now Hades is not a fan of Heracles, Hercules. Um, oh my God. Oh, Disney. So my theory about Disney is that whenever they're ready to make a new movie, they get drunk and they sit around and they're like, okay, think of something. Think of something. And I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure when I was a kid, pretty sure I read the story in school. I think this is how it went. And then they write it out and they're like, yeah, that's the story. That's what we're going to do. Because anytime they write any sort of adaptation, you're just like, wait, what? So when I was a kid, I hated Disney's Hercules. Well, I refused to watch it for the longest time because I was like, I took one look at the fact that Hercules was Hera's beloved son. And I was like, nope, 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 nope. I also noped out of Xena for similar reasons, but like Xena is at least, I don't know, Xena kind of does its own thing more than uh, than Hercules just plain giving people a uh, completely bizarrely inaccurate um, twisted versions of the story to m allow us to, uh, to make it palatable for the modern mainstream American palette. Um, the original version of the Black Cauldron that got cut to ribbons, well, so yeah, that sets it up one of the adaptations, like, they like, I think somebody read the Book of Three and the Black Cauldron and, and then didn't think about them for like 15 years or so. I guess I could have, yeah, 15, 20 years. Um, and then they were like, oh, you know what we could make a movie of? I'm pretty sure it went something like this. And it, it, it kind of, kind of. I, uh, I really, really like. I have I have a very very soft spot for Disney's Black Cauldron. It's very personally important to me, and it introduced me and probably many other people to Lloyd Alexander. I would really like to hear more of the story of the the development process of that, which I'm I'm sure I've read. But unfortunately, as my brain has had issues over the past couple of years and I've forgotten things, I think that's one of the things I forgot. Um, maybe I'll go look it up at some point. Um, yeah, they made Hercules completely inaccurate. Because, like, Hercules is an interesting character, but he's not very Disney-friendly inherently. 
But you could have cleaned him up and not... <sighs> He's really not the best choice. He's really not the best choice. The story behind the making of, of, of the Disney Hercules is an interesting story, too. Um, that one, I believe, also went through development hell. Oh, man. The, uh, the, the Pride and Chronicles done, like, Dark Crystal style, like, with puppets? That could be interesting. I, w I wouldn't mind seeing it, like, all on, like, full on, like, Peter Jackson, Lord of the Rings, but for kids, like, Narnia, but better live action. Um, be great. I really like Pride Ain. My first cat was named Taryn. Get me started on Friday and we will be here all day. Um, so I will stop myself from that. But yeah, so Her Hercules uh, came in and, and, and messed with messed with things <laughs> in the in Hades' kingdom and did not did not show proper respect. Now if I'm trying to remember, he was supposed to, there was the guy who came in to kidnap Persephone and he got stuck to the bench. And Hercules pulled him off and he left part of his thighs behind. And that's why people from his city state now have narrow thighs, according to Greek mythology. Um, which dude was that? Who was that? Who was that? Was that, that wasn't Theseus. Who was that? Okay, a guy whose name I don't know otherwise. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Chrono, I feel better about the fact that I couldn't remember that. Yeah, well, the thing is with Disney's Hercules is that you have to reach a point where you're okay with the fact that it's ridiculous. Just like with Xena. It turns out Xena is great and super gay, and I don't even know if anything would have registered in my mind if I'd watched it back in the day. But it, who knows? It's a mystery. Um, but uh, Theseus tried to talk him out of it. Yes, okay, thank you. I knew Theseus was, like, involved in that, but the, the ship and everything. Oh, my God. Ha uh, We had some uh we had some adventures. We had some adventures. Anyway, Hades, I love that Hades is still bitter and petty about that. Um Yeah. They should have asked the expert, I suppose. <laughs> you an expert on heroism, Dad. I never really got into Buffy. But I have enjoyed what I watched of Xena. I think it, it's, I think it's, I mean, it's my favorite relationship archetype. You have your charming rogue with a heart of gold who can talk their way into and out of trouble. And they're like physically strong, but emotionally vulnerable. Um, girlfriend with a tragic past who's maybe conflicted by thinking she's been a bad guy for a while. Like, a uh, oh, Locke and Sully's. <laughs> oh, look, okay. I don't know, man. Clearly, I just need to find a girlfriend who's a, who's a, a buff swordswoman who plays guitar. I think we decided. I don't know. We're just we're continuing to create the lore of Lauren's fictional girlfriend. So, if Locke had been a woman, I think things might have been different for me because um, I would have been able to acknowledge that I related to that character. It would. I don't know. I don't know. I almost gender swapped him when I started writing Darkness and Starlight, but I didn't. How's our renovation going here? Oh, Great Hall has a new thing. What is the new thing? Play thing. Oh my God. Oh my God! Oh, I can get him toys because I gave him, I gave him a treat, and now I can. Oh my gosh! I do really want to save up, and eventually I want to buy the not that. Where is it? Where is it? Did I? I thought it was in the Great Hall. Maybe it's not in the Great Hall. There it is. It's in the West Hall. Okay. I want that one. Uh, the live actioning of Disney movies? Oh, you mean like, um, 
like Beauty and the Beast, which is the only one of those that I've seen. I don't know. I don't watch movies very much. I'm sorry. So I don't have a lot of opinions. I want to... I think I want to buy something for the doggy. Enjoyed by some hounds with one or more heads. Which one of these? Which one of these? I'm going to get something for my puppy. Should I, oh, I'm going to get him this. There you go. Commission. Severus was never keen on playing ball, but on the other hand, who doesn't like a ball? What do you think the dog shall do with that? Contractor, I have another job. Maybe this knitted effigy of some sort of surface creature will keep Cerberus occupied. Knitted effigy. Cerberus has much better things to do than play with toys. Shut up, Dad. No, this is amazing and the best. Look at this. Look at how great. Look at how great. Look at this. I'm just, just, this whole area is going to be just like positively littered with dog things. This is amazing. I'm so excited. You reached the surface. I did, and I have questions. Oh, I have questions. Hi, Nix. Hi, Nix. Let's see if she acknowledges anything. Because, like, the, the flagging for conversations is a little bit confusing. Um, so let's, let's, let's see what, whether this is relevant to what we just had happen or if this is going to be something older. Nix, my mother was quite concerned to learn Olympus has been aiding me. Did you... Haven't you put her in danger by involving them? Was there no other way? No, Zagreus is taking her to task. He doesn't understand what's going on. So he's just going to be a little bit mad at everyone. <sighs> it's very sweet. You raised a good boy, Nyx. No, there was not. She has been in danger all along. I concealed her, yes, even from me. But it is not enough. I do not think that you could have found her without the Olympians. And if I did not reveal your existence to them, if they discovered who you are, it would be worse. Nyx is trying to be extremely careful to keep Persephone safe. And I think Zagreus safe as well, and perhaps everyone here. If the Olympians find out Persephone was harbored here and Hades pretended otherwise would they declare war on the Chthonic gods is that what we're trying to avoid because we know that they will this would not be the first war that Olympus has participated in among immortals And I, I care about a lot of the Chthonic gods down here, so I wouldn't want to see them go up against Olympus. So I feel like... Okay, so humor me for a minute here. As we try to imagine what has, what has happened behind the scenes, what, what, what happened before the events of this game. And again, if you know what happened, don't tell me. That's what the spoiler channel on Discord is for, so you can all have this conversation amongst yourselves without me. Um, so, Persephone is fleeing home for some reason that we'll assume is not some petty juvenile something, but that she's trying to escape legitimately a bad situation, perhaps an equivalent to what Zagreus is trying to do here. Oh my gosh, Sophie. Maybe she wanted to find her father, the mortal that, um, that Demeter is so angry and bitter about. Because Demeter is very, very angry about mortals and has said, like, never fall in love with a mortal. And she's talking about Persephone's father. Did Persephone find out her own heritage and decide that she was going to go find her father and Demeter who has control issues wouldn't let her go and so there was a big fight and she ran away much like what is happening 
with Zagreus now. Like, this is so parallel to that. Um, hmm. And so she flees the only place she can think to go, because if she goes, you know, she can't be anywhere around Olympus. The Olympian, Olympians will find her. If she goes to the mortal world, maybe, maybe Demeter struck down her father. Maybe she went to go find her father and Demeter killed her father. And it's like, how dare you? Like, how, how dare you disobey me, you insolent girl? And so Persephone's like, I have to go somewhere. I have to do something. And so she goes to the one more place that, she, that, that none of the Olympians... Nobody's on good terms with Hades anyway. What's the worst that can happen? She goes down there and he turns her back in. Like, is he really going to do that? He doesn't get along with his brothers. Why would he send her back up to the surface? She has nowhere else to go. She flees underground. The only place she can think of where her family isn't welcome. And Hades, who presumably is a somewhat different person at this time, um, we don't, you know, he doesn't know what to make of like, what, what do you, what do you want from me? Who, who are you? What do you expect from me? And she's like, look, I, I don't like the Olympians. They've hurt me. Um, and they're going to, they're going to hurt me worse. Um, I can't stay there, please. You understand what it's like. They've hurt you too. And he's like, you know, you raise a fair point. I can absolutely believe that they would screw you over because of how they've treated me and others. Um, so, okay, you can stay here for a little while. And she's like, okay, thank you very much. And Nyx is like, uh, you know what? This could be really messy. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't think that um, that making the Olympians angry is a safe decision, but you know, okay, we'll go with it. I'll try to help. I'll help mask you. I'll make it so they can't see you. I'll make it so they can't see anything that's going on down here. Um, and because Persephone is sunshine, literally the embodiment of spring, um, and there's a, there's, a, there's a distinct absence of sunshine in these halls, um, Hades and Nyx can't help but fall in love with her. Um, and so they, they come to care about her, not just maybe wanting to piss off the Olympians. In Hades' case, maybe he's like, you know, if I do this, Zeus suffers? All right, that's a noble cause. See, see, it's a Princess Bride reference. Um, but, you know, they start to care about her for her own sake. Um, and they're like, okay, we can't let anything bad happen to you. Um, we'll keep you safe. You can stay here. And she's like, you know, I miss the sunshine because... She's the embodiment of spring. This is not a good place for her. But but she does her best to stay here. And, you know, she and Hades fall in love. Maybe she and Nyx fall in love. Um, and she gets pregnant. And this is not allowed because Hades is not... Hades can rule the underworld. Um, but he he can't have an heir that is that rules the underworld. That's not how it works. That wasn't agreed to. That's, that's, that's against the rules. Um... So that can't happen. We can't have that. Um, but Persephone's like, y y I can't lose this child. Like, I won't let you take this child from me, whoever um, opposes me on this one. Um, and so she's like, I'm going to go for it. I'm going it to, it might work out okay. I don't care. You know, we're already breaking the rules. Let's break one more rule. What, what, what else could this do? Um, so she has her child and her child dies because... He's not allowed to live, you know? Like, you can't have the god of the land of the dead and the goddess of springtime have a child, especially against the laws and the fates and everything. So he dies, and she's heartbroken, devastated. And she can't stay here. She's already barely been holding on below ground with no sunlight and, and none of the none of the, the springtime that she needs. Um and, you know, Nyx and Hades can see that and they can see the toll that it's taken on her being down here. And then she's devastated and everywhere she turns the memory of the fact that she lost her child. Um, and so she's like, you know, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Um, and uh, it's a good point, Blue Glass. They do. They even look like they're rodents of unusual size. They're they're like awkward and they look like there might be people shuffling around in 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 rat suits. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if someone who made this game was like, let's put our USs in this game. Anyway, to continue my mini golfing here. All right. So this is when we get to things that we kind of know some of, and then I'm filling in. I'm filling in how I think this is supposed to go. Again, if you know, do not tell me. 
there is a special channel on our Discord server specifically for this to have these conversations. Um, so if you that way you guys can talk about this without spoiling it for me. So if you want to do that, if you think that would be fun, um, I assume that I assume that folks are in there right now talking about this. Um, but yeah, so then uh, so they're like, okay, we'll get you because because Persephone's like, I can't stay here, but I can't go back to Olympus. What can I do? And Nyx is like. I can shield you so nobody can see you. I've oh, what a mess. How are we going to fix Sorry. this? Sorry, I didn't mean to push that button. I got excited. Um, but it was just like, I can shield you so nobody can see you. Not even me. And you can go and find a place that will be safe. And nobody will find you. Olympus will not find you. And you, will, you, can, you can be safe. We'll never like talk to you again. Um, but, uh, but you'll be safe. And Persephone's like, you would do that for me. And Nyx is like, yes, we love you very much. So they're like, okay, um, go away. And Hades is like, I'm going to be emo and sad about this. Also, my son is dead and I'm going to be emo and sad about that. And I don't know how to have feelings because I'm Hades. So I'm a mess. So Persephone leaves and Hades is like, why is my son dead? And the woman I loved is gone and everything is awful. And I don't have any inherent optimism and now my only source of optimism has gone away and I'm emo and sad and angry and Nyx is like what if I told you that there was a way that we could bring your son back and Hades is like but he's dead and Nyx is like no there's a thing we can do but it's gonna cost you and Hades says anything anything so they make a make a deal sign a pact, contract, whatever the case may be, everything in the underworld runs on contracts. Hades pays his price, whatever his price is, whether it's his soul, whether it's his heart, I don't know what it is, but I believe he paid a price. And Nyx gives up what, like, so much of her power, and they're able to bring Zagreus back. But they can't tell Persephone, because they don't know where she is. Although Nyx has some idea, so somebody found her. Somebody found her. Somebody knows where she is. Because Nyx has an idea. Either that or maybe she said, Nyx, this is where I'm going to be. I mean, maybe she said, like, you, if you need to find me, I'll be up. I'll find this place. If you go here, you go up there, there's a thing. Maybe this is, like, it can't be where her father's, like, her father's farm was. Her father's, uh, I think, what do you think? He was a shepherd? Because I think that... I think that Demeter would look there. Unless, like, she looks and she can't find her. I don't know. Um, but so maybe maybe when Persephone goes, she's like, you know, if you want to find me, here's where you'll find me. Um, and Nyx is like, all right, and, you, and when you're at the other, I'm not going to find you. But I will be able to tell your son when the time comes how to find you. Um, so they bring him, they bring Zagreus back. But Hades is broken at this point and un incapable of being a good father because he's got issues. And so Nyx tries to raise the baby as best she can. And she's like, I can't let anyone know that he's Persephone's son because Persephone is the secret here. And we need to keep Persephone safe. And I was kind of like, you know, like the thing is, when you start getting into the like one person should sacrifice themselves so that everybody else can be safe like you start getting into some really uncomfortable territory um but i've been kind of wondering like what are the stakes here what are the stakes with persephone because nobody knowing where persephone is that doesn't seem like it's the biggest part of the story when you first meet her but especially with how she is about Olympus, like, I feel like that's a really big deal. So, like, what are the stakes other than the fact that Nyx and Hades love Persephone and therefore want her to be happy so they are protecting her happiness? Like, how much of the rest of the universe are they willing to sacrifice to keep her safe? How many others have to suffer for her happiness? doesn't really feel like it balances out and I thought you know maybe she just doesn't know the cost everyone else is paying but I think that there's more to it I think that the stakes are higher than just letting one person be happy no matter how what it costs everyone else I think that this is nothing short of potentially war with Olympus which because Nyx was weaker 
she wouldn't have been able to protect the Chthonic gods if there was war following all of that because she brought Zagreus back. Um, so it's possible that what they're doing is basically stalling until she gets her strength back enough to then be like, look, do you guys really want to mess with us? Do not mess with us. Do not mess with this. My daughters are the fates. You stop that right now. I know you think that you can take out anything, Zeus, because you took out like the the world order of how things were, you know, um, but maybe you shouldn't do this. Like, so maybe we're stalling for Nyx to get her full strength back. And maybe that's why I'm gathering all of this darkness because I do like the fact that it shows the amount of darkness that I'm accumulating on my screen, um, on my load, on my save. Um, darkness plays some sort of significance in the story. And I was like, is this going to be bad? But I think that we are helping Nyx get her strength back so that she can protect us so that she can protect all of the characters down here that we have come to love. Because the Olympians are selfish and petty and they don't care who they hurt. They, they literally don't care who they hurt. They've never cared who they hurt. That's kind of one of Zeus's defining characteristics. And even the ones that I love are not really known for being especially compassionate. Like, I love Artemis very much, but she is not a kind and forgiving and compassionate person. I love Athena, but she gets pity, p petty and bitter and cranky too. Um, you know, anytime... Like they're 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 very fickle, um, and they they judge and 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 get angry very easily. I mean, you see that when anytime you have to turn them against each other, like anytime you have to choose between one or the other, like they immediately turn on you, even though like you're technically ostensibly this family member that they love, or should love. Um, so they're kind of dangerous, and they'll turn on you on a dime. Um, so like, yeah. I think I've managed to convince myself. So Nyx is here trying to figure out how she can do this without breaking any things that can't be broken, saying any things that can't be said, or inciting war, which might bring about Armageddon, basically. Like, if the Olympians and the Chthonic gods go to war, that might undo everything. That's pretty high stakes. So, so she's been, especially for somebody who likes, doesn't a hundred percent get people's feelings and stuff. She's been doing pretty well, I think. So she finds a solution. Okay. I'll let them think, I'll let them know. So they can't find out, but they, they must not be able to actually truly see Zagreus. He must be mostly hidden because if they truly see him, they will know he's Persephone's son and that will be the end of it. So I have to let them know that he's here and let them think that they know the truth about him because then they won't go looking for the truth about him. So, okay, I will tell them enough of the story that they don't know that anything's missing and therefore they don't go looking. So, hello, Olympus. Hades' son is fighting with his dad. Totally believable because you guys don't like Hades and are fighting with Hades. You can totally imagine how if Hades had a kid, he would want to get away from Hades. So, hey, my son, this is why I'm telling you this, because I care about him. My son with Hades wants to get away from Hades because Hades sucks. Technically, he's related to you. Could you help him? It's, it's hard for your powers to reach down here, but it would be so helpful. I will, I will help you get in touch with him. I know things down here and I have some power. It can't do everything, but it can put you in touch with him a little bit. So will you be willing to help him if I put you in touch with him that way? And so she's very, very carefully controlling the amount of information that anyone gets. And now Zagreus knows what's going on. He couldn't have been told, which is fair. He couldn't have been told. Um, but now he understands the gravity of the situation now that he understands the situation. And so now maybe she can ask him because yes, it would be very bad if they find out that he is Persephone's son. It would, it would bring things down for both. It would, it would just, it would make everything exponentially worse. If they're angry, if they would be angry that, that, that these two helped keep Persephone from them, they would be angrier still that they were lied to. <sighs> yeah, they would be ugly. So. The Olympians maintain belief that you are trying to reach them. I trust we can sustain this understanding for a long, long time. Perhaps not forever, but long enough to discover a solution. Perhaps with your birth mother's help. Okay. It's interesting that she refers to her as his birth mother. 
because she still on some level is is also like his mother you know yeah I'll and be careful maybe she's scared to say Persephone's name too much oh that's right Sophie the screen is moving again what is it those shades are always milling about oh man oh man hold on we gotta go turn in some fishies fishy fishy fishy, fishy. Yeah. Monies and a key. Alright, that'll do. Let's see what we can what we can turn in here. Mmm no. I need I need to get more of that Titan's blood so that I can uh so that I can uh what's the word? Okay, but this is it's nice to know that I'll be able to do this. Okay, so let's turn in some keys to get some friendship juice. Sophie, 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 Sophie. Yeah, I want to be able to get the Arthur, but I need to have two, I think, to unlock Arthur. Yeah, that's my goal. My goal. So I could do this right here, but I don't know what I'm going to want with Ambrosia. Improving special items. I wonder what... Oh, oh, that's... That's, that's, the, that's the companions. Okay, got it. Okay. All right, well, we're good. We're good. That's true. Hold on. Yay! Megara, the featured servant of the house. <laughs> Do you hear the tone of his voice? <laughs> Did you hear? Because he, he's like so proud of his friends, but he's like Megara, the featured servant. Of, oh my god! I love you, Zagreus. Piece of music. What a good boy. All right. So I think that's everything there is to see or do out here. So let's see what happens because we just did a chaos thing. Yes, there's no Orpheus, which is interesting. I really do want to unlock Orpheus's story and I want to have more music lessons with Orpheus. Um, so we'll see how those get paced out. Um, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm amused that Dusa is like, if only somebody would do something to help Achilles. And I'm like, I know I'm working on it. Anyway, I'm sorry to have spent quite so long with the full summary of uh, of like everything that Lauren thinks is the story of Hades. We will find out whether any of that is accurate or not, but at least it's there for the record. So if I am right on any of those points, I can prove, I can point and be like, yes, I got that one right. And we have video evidence preserved for the ages. Has it been a while since we had a good mini golf session? Okay, well, we got, we got our mini golfing in. We'll, we'll practice. We all, I think I always practice. I don't even think that it makes a difference. Like, I don't think that the practicing is what does it. I think you need to have lessons, but I'm going to practice anyway, just in case. Because I did have a lesson. I think Orpheus did teach him some preliminary stuff, so he should get better. And so you can practice on your own and make progress, just as long as you also have a teacher helping you out. So let's see what the chaos one is. It was bound to happen, really. Ha! <laughs> I'm using chaos. The son of the god of the dead shall someday overcome his own father while in possession of a gift from our primordial originator, chaos. Oh, I get some diamonds. Vanquish Lord Hades bearing the cosmic egg. We did that. I'm using chaos. So all it does is amuse chaos. Always happy to oblige Master Chaos. I know. I'm always happy to make them happy. Yeah. No, it's good. Oh. Oh, hey, check that out. I get some money. No stigious like the back of my hand. Yes, that's true. No, we did quite well with Sidious. I really want this one. This is not going to happen. This would help me unlock everything, though. Maybe we'll have to fight uh, fight him again. Uh, <laughs> the urging of the god. I just love Hermes is just such a little butt. I love him. <laughs> <sighs> All right. We're getting pretty close with this. And actually, it turns out... It turns out I really like Poseidon spoons. I don't think that they would work for everybody, but I really like them. Uh, blown kiss. Almost gotten that one. Engulfing vortex. Really don't like Aries. Not a lot of these. Uh, I made I made some good progress on these pairings, though. I think I got quite a few duos last time. Uh, primordial boons almost but there's still one that I don't have is that because I have to take chaos three times in one run <sighs> that would be intense I've done twice but I don't think I've ever done three 
the holy liege this i want to do and i think i think i could do this i mean we'll see how hard we'll see how hard this is but uh we'll see the heart seeking bow the shield of chaos despite having used this a lot i somehow haven't finished that I've gotten pretty close there, hidden aspect. This one, this one would be harder though. Oh, that might be the one you have to switch blobs. Oh, that would be why. That would be why. Okay. Oh, let's see. Twin fists. Yeah. Shockingly, I haven't gotten all of these. Okay. I've done this with, with three out of the six. That's not so bad. Maybe we'll be able to do it with the rest eventually. That though that gives you a lot. Like a whole lot. Violent past. Ah. Here's all the aspects. So there you go. If you need diamonds, you can you can unlock more aspects, I suppose. This is not the non-hidden aspects, though, those don't help. Harsh condition conditions. Oh, so see, I did manage to beat it with some heat on. Yeah, this this one I might I might want to knock out just because why not? We'll see how it goes. Um, I've almost done this one. This one, if I can, although from the looks of it, that is a that's gonna be a boss in sticks, and I spent a lot of time avoiding bosses in sticks. So I guess uh, now that I'm doing the bosses in sticks again, we'll get this one, and that will give us some Titan's blood. Dark reflections. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Uh, this one would be easy to do, actually. I just haven't used those two. Ah, uh, through training and practice. Okay. Well, that tells me something, actually. I assume as long as you practice every, every, like between runs every time, you don't have to like do it multiple times. Oh, Zagreus, honey. Poor Zagreus. Well, let's go for it. Let's continue. Get a load of them prizes over there. Prizes? What's all this? Prizes? Pardon? What? What's up, Skelly? I'm glad Skelly is back. I was a little concerned. You want to fight me, boy? Oh, well, hop to it, stat. What's with the prizes, buddy? What's he talking about? Not keepsakes. I mean, I should probably equip. It's this one, and what else? This one and, oh, these two are the ones I've never used. The coin purse seems like if you level it up, that'll probably be pretty good. What is he talking about with prizes though? Stygious. Yeah, I can't do that right. That one takes three, oh. Oh, that's way off. Oh, man. Okay. Yes, or a damage reduction. So somebody asked me if I were, if there was aspect of Lauren, which weapon would it be and what would its effect be? Somebody on, on YouTube asked me that. I don't know. I've thought, I've thought about it. And I couldn't think of anything offhand. Maybe this one. Just watch the ribs with that, okay? I don't think there's anything new here. Brooding perch. No, I don't think there's brooding anything either. What we'll ask? Brooding, 72 chambers, no. What is he talking about? You as multifaceted as anyone I know. 
Exagriff. I really, really want to know. I really want to know. I really want to know. See, this one I've actually beat with a heat. I did really well with the aspect of Talos. I'm just really curious because it's obviously not going to be Sabin, but who is it? Don't tell me. Who punches things? I don't know. You know? And like the bow is not, it's not going to be Robin Hood because they already kicked, they already did Arthur. So I don't know who else it would be. I don't know who else it would be. And it's just driving me crazy. It's just driving me crazy. I want to know. Aspect of Ryu, there you go. Oh, change of plan, I like it. <laughs> Street Fighter Man, yes. And like, the, the, I'm trying to think, I feel like shield should be obvious. I feel like I should think of a shield that's not a Greek character. Because they're not necessarily going for really hard or obscure things because Arthur was the obvious choice and therefore, all of my trying to be like clever with things. I was like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It was probably things that I don't know. Um, aspect of Rocky. Yes. Um, I don't know who the shield would be. I want to be good with the shields because I like chaos, but the shield is not a good fit for me. Do I want to give the gun another try? I want to give the gun another try. Do I want to give the gun another try? So I thought it might be Roland, maybe, because I thought they might want to be a little bit more obscure. But they don't. Obscurity doesn't seem to be an essential requirement. Do I want to try the shotgun again? Do I want to try the shotgun again? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, those are really big. <laughs> I didn't see it at all. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I did not even notice it. And I'm supposedly observant. Supposedly observant. All right, let's inspect it. It's all sparkly. I'll level with you, pal. You have impressed somebody well above my pay grade here, and so they have a little proposition for you. You listening? Okay. Who does Skelly know who's way above his pay grade? Let me guess. They want me to fight all the way through the underworld, having used the Pact of Punishment over there to make the going even more treacherous than it already is, and if I succeed, they'll reward me with some sort of useless trinket. I love Zagreus so much. Oh my god, what a good boy. He's so, so frustrated with this. Wrong. We're talking something really big here, pal. You see that thing back there? Trinket. Come on, what are you scared? <clears throat> oh my god, Skelly's like, what if I taunt you? Yes, a little bit, if you must know. <gasps> Packed challenge. Oh. It's some sort of ridiculous challenge, huh? <laughs> He's, have the guts. he's not approved. Oh my god, amazing. Hey, room, I'm back. I want to see what this is. A prophecy's been added to the list. Yes, that's what I'm going to go look at. Where is it? Oh, there's so many of these. The useless trinket. The son of the god of the dead shall someday earn a magnificent tribute after breaking free from the realm in which he was born despite the pact of punishment. Five diamonds. That's a lot of diamonds. The first of Skelly's prizes. Who are you really, Skelly? What is your deal, Skelly? Oh my god. Alright. Do we want to try the gun again? I mean, we might as well, alright? This one I've done before. Okay. Restore your health less than usual. Prices are higher. It's a lot. More enemies. Ch 
Don't bother with heat yet? Okay. Said our goodbyes already, pal. <laughs> I love when he makes fun of you if you're indecisive. Let's go for it. We're just gonna go for it. We'll turn on no, heat later. You. Okay. Oh, shoot. I forgot to change out my keepsake. Well, that's fine. We'll just have to go. There isn't the one and only rail of adamant in your possession there. To strike one's enemies from afar is really the only way, I think. And it's about as good a substitute for lightning bolts as you're likely to find. That's true. That's true. Oh, man. Such a good explosive sound. What do we want to start with? Attack sounds good. Thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Okay. Oh, this is gonna take a while. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to get through. I have to remember, I, so this is not a button mashing weapon. Hi, Phil. Oops. Oops. I thought I got the... I thought I got... Um, I thought I still had the Chaos Egg equipped. I do have the Chaos Egg equipped. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Who's first? But that's good, because I want to... Oh, there you are. I thought you were dead. But you weren't. All right. This is a no. This is not what we want. Okay. Go here. Dataless power. All right. Nothing new. But maybe we'll get something new. My goodness. Hi. Hey, hold a moment, Zagreus. I could have sworn you were so close before, but now you're back. Uh, must have tripped up just when victory was close at hand. It happens all the time. We'll get you out of there. You'll see. It, it feels kind of bad to lie to her, but I know reasons. I know there's reasons. True shot. It's good. But I'm gonna go with call. I really like her call. I'll make every strike count. <sighs> I need to get something that'll let me smash, like smash and dash through things. Are you? Where are you? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> trap kill. Oh, that's right. I get I forgot when I get darkness that I get max life up. That is that is nice. Oh, friendship. Friendship already. Friendship. Oh, I have a lot of darkness. How do I have so many darkness? Why do I have so many darkness? Why do I not have another D20? I need to get another D20. How did I get... How did I get so much darkness? Well, well. Hello. Hey, sir. What's up, friend? I have to thank you, Sisyphus. Not just for all the help you've given me time after time, but for encouraging me to have a chat with Baldi there. I dare say I feel a little more at peace of late, and maybe it's thanks to him. Baldi's a good friend. He's a good one, all right, isn't he? Though if you've come to such an understanding with old Baldi there, why, it must mean you've done some growing on your own as well, I think. Sisyphus is self-aware enough to understand that he has grown and is a better person now. 
how excellent you are. Sense to me. All right. Boldy, while on one hand I know that making offerings to you won't really help me get out of here, on the other hand, maybe it will. You know, I think I'm growing more accustomed to relating to a giant stone. That's that. I suspect that that is going to be how I fulfill the Sisyphus. Um, that's going to be his heart unlocking, I think. That's my guess. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Sisyphus friend. Let's go, lads. Blown up. Anyone else? Oh, I do actually really like Poseidon's boons, even if I don't like him. Why I could have sworn you made it to the surface recently, and yet you're all the way back there again. Must be some sort of terrible monstrosity preventing your way out. Yeah, because they can't see him once he gets to the surface. As great as this is, hold on. There's still there is still one of his that I need. What is it? I should probably give him friendship shoes. Rip current. Oh, I need. <sighs> Sight and Seed. Flood shot will help me get breaking wave. And then if I get flood, sh then if I get breaking wave, then I can get second wave. So okay, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Sure, sure. Yes, we'll go for it. Let's see what happens. Do 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 do. Well, no, but I beat Dad up, but they don't know that. Oh, Oh, right, I need to remember that I don't have Divine Dash. I'm so used to having Divine Dash that I'm like, oh, I can just dance into this. There we go. Oops. You can, however, still, uh, still go through them. You just don't bounce them back, so that's nice. All right. So we're gonna go through here. I haven't gotten a single Chaos Gate. Which I would think we would. I just really want to... Oops. Got kill. Yay. God's grant me strength. Uh, this one's good. We'll do this. I mean, I actually probably ought to level up that later. Do I have any money? I've got a little What's bit of money. Well this time. Uh, meh. Uh, uh, I just don't like temporary things. not be taking as much damage as I thought I was going to, so that's good. Um, well, we could go shopping, or... Oh, I don't want to do those. Why not? Let's do it. <sighs> sure, we'll see how much... Want me to pick a favorite. We don't want them to go to war. Alright. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You have to find me here in chest, young man. Though in such cases pertinent to my authority, you'll find I lack a sense of humor. I know. I know, Zeus. So I know. The way it is, then. You lack a sense of humor indeed. He's angry now.
okay. We did okay. <laughs> that is quite enough. That's quite enough, I say. You're still alive, aren't you? He's all sparkly. Yeah, they're kind of scary. I like that one. <laughs> How dare you hit me? Oops. Uh, hold on. So I would try. Okay. So I need. I need. I need high voltage or. I need storm lightning, high voltage, or double strike. Storm lightning, high voltage. Or... Okay. So I need I need a level two. So that's a level three. Let's see if that can happen. High voltage, double strike, or storm lightning. Thunder flourish. <sighs> Whatever. Sorry. Thunder time. I'm only going after. I can only. I can only really try to like max out one uncle's thing at a time. So we're gonna do this. You touch me, you get electrocuted. How does that sound? I mean, ideally, my goal is to not get hit. But if I do get hit, that's the button I meant to hit. Where are you? There you are. Bam! Phew. That really doesn't give very much of that. Okay. Uh, no. Nah. Oh. Okay. Cool. The power of the gods. Uh. Oh, I need to remember that I have that. Sure. Pump power. Yeah. No. No chaos at all, which is interesting because I have the, face the chaos egg. So you would think. Hello. Hi, Meg. <laughs> Your mother, Zagreus. You really think you'll find her once again out there? Even if you make it out. Maybe she's found another hiding place. <laughs> Meg, are you just trying to hurt him? Yes, yes she is. It isn't us she's hiding from up there. Father let her go. He never wanted to go after her. So I appreciate your concern, but I'll find her again. Don't tell Meg things you don't know if you can trust her. That sounds like information neither one of them would want for me to know. You know the punishment for spilling secrets, don't you? Ah, <sighs> Meg. Nice. Whatever, Meg. do. Oh man, and you're gonna get electrocuted if you so much as touch me. Like that. Blood. Yep. <sighs> I think she is trying to hurt him. I do think she try I think she tries to hurt him. I think she's like, she's like, I'm mad at him and she hurts people. That's what she does. So I do think she's trying to hurt him. Like, well, your mom might not even be there. She might be hiding from you. You might do all of this and then she's not even up there, huh? On the other hand, Thanatos might be like, and have you considered, she might not be there. You know, you might do all of this and she might not be there. They would say the same thing, but in different ways and with different intents. And this is why I like nice. Thanatos and I don't like Meg. Don't like Meg. I really don't like Meg. Cause she's the sort of person, and like I understand she's angry. 
And I understand she's got feelings, but she hurts other people. Whatever, Dad, Enjoy shut the up. Searing heat of Asphodel. I'm sure I will. Asphodel. He just completely ignores him. He's like, whatever. All right, let's do something Should else. I change things up. Yeah, probably. Okay. Hmm. It's interesting that you can't. I shouldn't need the skull earring at this point. Should help. So we'll do that. Eh. Now we'll do that with like That's the beginning of things next time around. Uh, we see what happens. I want to go fishing. Oh, look at that. Monies. Yay! That'll definitely make a difference. There was a fish! There was a fish! A free fish? Did I... Oh! Okay. Sagrius. Goodness. He was angry. Good enough. Still pretty cheap. Okay, well I could have gotten a fish, but I didn't. Alright, well we're just gonna look for monies and fishies. Which I guess you wouldn't look for if you were uh Oh look at that friendship! If you were like, I'm gonna go, f I'm gonna go quickly, then you wouldn't go looking for monies and fishings. Of all the lava rocks in Asphodel, the Hades kid found this one once again. Wouldn't you know? You got a map or something to this place, or what? This is a repeated conversation, I think. Don't know that a map would help me much since things keep shifting out here every single time. Though it is an interesting coincidence how I keep running into you. I feel like it is. Maybe because she, maybe she said something similar. Coincidence? Come on, hon. You're a god. Someone out there is sending you my way. Maybe it's just the fates. Maybe it's oh, the well. fates. I sure don't mind a little company. And I have lots to eat. I love Eurydice's philosophy mm -hmm. on I like company. I like to talk to them, I like to sing for them, and I like to feed them. She is very... Wait, I might... I'm gonna try this one. Sounds good. Because why not? Wow, that's good. See, he thinks that's tasty. He thinks I chose well. Good to all the thieves, to all the fools that stifled me. It felt like a conversation I've had before, but I guess it might be it might be a filler conversation because I haven't done anything new. I know that I'm kind of in some ways stuck story-wise. Oops, you hit me! Fortunately, you got uh, electrocuted for your uh, transgressions, so that's very uh very uh Zeusy. Where are you? Where'd you go? Get out of there. Set. I need to rethink my strategy of using the the oops! On these guys like I could like put it here like put it on me where you go oh 
Oh, we're all good. Gods have spoken. Yay! Hello. What's up? Nina? I understand you've been in contact with my father. Your Uncle Zeus, I mean. He's taken interest in your plight. You should feel honored. Epic Divine Dash. I'll take it. I'll take it. Because I actually like... I like to do damage when I do that. So we're all good. All right. Now what? I was literally about to say that, but it doesn't count because I didn't actually say it. So I didn't get a chance to say it before he said it. Oh, I did use my blob, but not since it's become blobby. Oh, hello. Thank you for reminding me that I have a blob. I took her out and you got electrocuted, buddy, because you landed on me. Oops. Man, guitar is so good. Oops. Oops. All right. Well, I, t I am taking time, gigantic some head. actual damage here. In the name of Hades. All right, uncle. one seems really good. Thunder Flourish Epic would be nice though. Lightning effects also make full jolted. That's a lot of jolted. And I am shooting them a lot. So, and, and it hits multiple enemies. It does a chain lightning thing. So, as good as God Gauge is, and it is, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do this. Because that does a lot of damage. All right, so we've got nothing but monies. All right, fine, we'll do monies. Oops, don't run into the lava, Lauren. More wave makers. Oops. Are you where are you oh you were jolted okay you were having a bad day that buddy was having a bad day what's this give me health oh, i mean that that will give me health provided i don't die dad shut up hades nobody's impressed with you Well, that was pretty quick. Mine. Yay! Oh man, that was nice. Oh, look at this. We got a whole bunch of options. All right, well, let's just dash around and make sure there's no monies or fishing. We would hear fishing. Just destroying things. Property damage, yeah. Okay, so we got money. We, we could get some heart. Or we could get more Athena. I'm gonna get more heart. Because I haven't gotten any hearts this time around. Oops! Where are you? Where'd you guys go? There you are! I'm definitely taking more damage than I'd like, but... Okay, so I could get another heart, or I could go shopping. Oh, I've got a lot of money. I've got a lot of money. Oh, look at that, and I've got more. Okay, maybe we will just go, uh... Maybe we'll just go shopping. Sure, see what we can get. Moving on. 
That's my favorite song to dance to in DDR. Yeah, Jolted does seem to be a good choice. I know, buddy, I know. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Just what I need. Hi! Yeah. I miss DDR as well. If I didn't live on the 12th floor. Oh, shoot! I took one damage. So I don't know whether the choices that I'm making are the right choices. Lerny, hi, hi, Lerny. You look lovely this day or night, Lerny. Oh my god. He's his attitude about fighting Lerny has changed completely since uh, since Lerny got a name. Oops. Oops. Like oh. that. Oh my god, the chain lightning effect is really good. Because it just means that like if there are little things around. Did I not get all of your stupid children? Oh he didn't. Okay. Oops. Oops. Stop taking damage, Lauren. Where is Lauren's stupid children? There you are. I feel like I should name the rest of them. Oh goodness, hello, you're underfoot. Oh that's right, my critical is your my 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 uh my 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 bazooka, my 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 miss that 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 is gonna do extra mega ultra damage because of what I just got. Okay. Okay. Well, that took care of business pretty well, Artemis. Bernie, Wernie, Bernie, Kearney, and Susan. It sounds like we are doing a doing a Pac-Man style naming system. <gasps> Sophia has a belly, baby, baby belly. <gasps> She's such a good kitty. I don't know if you can see her cuteness or if it's just that she's a lump. But trust me, she's being a very cute lump. The cutest lump. I don't know why I'm convinced that they're learning stupid children, but they've been learning stupid children since I started playing this game, and they will continue to be learning stupid children. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I don't... I feel like I feel like I might have had a really lucky build for fighting learning, but you know... That's fine. I don't even need this. I trust you had a pleasant stay in Asphodel. Shut up, Dad. Oh my God, you, you suck so really much. Need to turn down the heat in that place. Uh, I love you, Zagreus. I love Let's you, Zagreus. Okay. What else are we gonna do? Um. Um. I guess we're about to go to Elysium, so I should probably put on my skull earring. Don't even need that. Sure. I'll take it. I'll summon my friend. Get out of this damn heat. <laughs> oh my god. He's so funny and sassy and great. I just love Zagreus. I will try to actually use it this time. I didn't need it last time, is the thing. Oh, baby cat. Baby Sophie cat. Baby Sophie cat, are you gonna watch the TV? Are you gonna watch Zagreus and his adventures? Like, no, I'm gonna turn my back on Zagreus and his adventures. Sophie, you're so cute, little girl. Now there's a chaos gate. I probably shouldn't. Do your worst. Oh my goodness. 
Oh. If I'm going to do it in Elysium. That would be the worst in sticks, but I could just not use it in sticks. No, I depend on it too much. Sorry, I do want to actually, I would do want to actually break out as much as I would love to get that. This one. This one. That's it. That's the one. All right, let's do it. This might be a terrible idea, but we're doing it because I want to talk to Chaos. Chaos, I'm smashing your pottery. Hi, Chaos. I think we sensed that you were able to confront your father while in possession of my small round catalyst. It seems my asking you and your success was in accordance with the fate's design as well. The result is more amusing even than expected. Thanks. Thank you. So I think that they just enjoyed it. I don't. I thought that maybe they would like learn something, but they're just happy. They're like, oh, that was fun. Thank you. I enjoyed it. I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna do 51% damage plus. That's a lot. Oh, look at that, there's money now. Cool. Let's get some friendship juice, shall we? Oh, right. I was about to ask what it was that they did, but that's what they do. I can also knock back their explosions of those things, so that's cool. Oops. Absolute madness. Deadly flourish leveled up. Cool. All right. Well, we're doing okay. Just checking to make sure there's not anything secret here. Oh, very nice blue glass. Okay. Yeah, that seems like a good way to, to unlock it, basically. Shall we say? You ever make it out of here, short one? I wonder sometimes what it must be like. The outside. I would... This is a different song. The little clap, I would know if I'd heard that before. I'd much rather fight Asterius than Butterfly Ball. Although I've been taking out the Butterfly Ball pretty quickly lately. You've never been outside. All oh, right, the labyrinth thing. You lived in a horrible maze all your life. I haven't seen much of the surface, but it's beautiful. Cold. When I'm there, though, I feel out of place. Yes, you're going to be out of place anywhere you go, Isagrius. I'm very sorry. <laughs> no ball, all bull. That is true, Ampy. There we go. I, think. I don't see why you'd want to go somewhere like that. You can't live up to the stories. Why ruin it? Speaking of which, we're gonna go have a fight for the stories today, huh? Oh, right! I 
forgot about that. Oops. Oops. Oops, I need to stop being hit by him. There's just so much going on. damage though rewarded not ideal to take that much damage but we'll do what we can I accept this message <sighs> let's do it well, that sounds good the brothers will get along briefly I love that we go in circles and then we wind up here but the stands are full later all right Right. Oops. Almost there. There we go. Jeez. No. I'm having to be aggressive again in this. Okay. You're pretty close with Thanatos, aren't you, boss? We don't often run in the same lanes, though our duties sometimes intersect a bit. Odd chap. Seems good at what he does, though. <laughs> Hermes is, uh... Being fair. He's like, oh, your friends. Oh, well, I'll say something nice about him. I am curious about greater evasion. Dodge automatically. Let's do that, shall we? Oh, man. Yeah, let's see if we can get a Death Defiance back. I feel like that was sloppy. So we can do here. Yeah, just like not taking damage 15% of the time. Like, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, well, it was worth Should a try. Keep me going. It's worth a try. Your care on there must drive quite a hard bargain, Sagrius, if it would keep you from your victory just for a bit of coin. And Zeus is like, yeah, your gods are not as good as my gods. All right, what do I need here? What do I need? Storm, lightning, high voltage, or double strike. Alright. Sure. Okay. Sure. Should come in useful. I use this more often, so it'll do more good overall. Oh, uh, we'll take this one so we can maybe get some health back. Once I start losing health, I get a little nervous. Where are you? Where are you? There you are!
Got some health back. And some max health up, so that's good. How much longer till my boon- or is my boon from chaos- I think it's turned off. I think we're good, right? Right? I think. Now do I want to fight a boss for a key? No, thank you. I think I'll get some more darkness so we can restore Nyx to her full power and maybe prevent war with Olympus. Which I've decided is what's happening. Jeez, I need to not be right in sight of those guys, like in easy range of them. Defensively, and I would be okay. <sighs> Greater call. <sighs> I could use some health, honestly. And this will presumably give me some. Stop him, wretches. Shut up, Dad. Nobody cares about you, Hades. What is it now? You lot, huh? All right. It seems I need to look for better help. I guess so, Dad. Got some random friendship juice. I like that I just randomly get friendship juice. That's nice. Is there anything that I want to sell? I can wash away my boons. They don't really give much money. This gives a lot of money. The only thing I have that knocks back is um, cast, which I forget to do a lot. Is this one worth keeping or is this one worth selling so that I could potentially, potentially buy a Death Defiance, which I can't afford right now, I don't think. Like, I feel like as much as this is like exciting and having a duo is cool, I actually think a Death Defiance would do me more, would do me more good. I wanted to get more Poseidon. Like, this was supposed to be more Poseidon run, but it's not, and that's a lot of money. So I think I'm gonna do it. All right, cool. And we're gonna go in here and buy some stuff. That sounds like fishing. Did I hear fishing? Did I hear fishing? I think I did, I did. Okay, we're gonna fish. Fish, 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 Yay, we got it. All right, now I've got bunnies. Oh man, Chrono really wants the port fire, huh? All right. Don't spend it all in one place, mate. I mean, I can always just re-roll. See what happens. Hey, got anything else? This one seems really good. Is this one good? I mean, it was good last time. Is it good now? If I remember to use cast? Do I want to do critical effects, deal more damage? Although this is nice too. If I remember, these two are, if I remember to do, do, to do cast. do I do criticals? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to lose another life. How much monies have I got? If I buy this, I can still afford a death of mines. So we'll do this. And make... <laughs> this one seems really good. This one also seems really good, though. Actually, any of these are good. Oh, man. Heaven's Vengeance has done 
well because I've been taking less. I've been doing less of the, my strategy depends on not getting hit. Storm lightning, clean kill. Cause it, cause it, it will it go bounce back and forth between the same two enemies, or, or is that like the number of enemies total that it'll hit? Like, like does it go back and forth, or does it only hit one enemy once? Cause that's an important distinction. Although we are gonna go to sticks. <laughs> Not pick a duo. Yeah, I didn't pick a duo because I didn't think it was the best fit for me. I sold a duo earlier. <laughs> do I want to? Does, does, do, do bouncing effects go back and forth between the same enemies? Like, if, if there's, like, two guys, do they get hit six times like this? Do we, do we basically play, like, tennis? Or pong? This is games. Pong. 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 Sorry, I, I should make that clear. So it doesn't play, we can't play Pong? Because this would be useful for like sticks in that case. And potentially actually fighting Hades when he's got all of his stuff going on. It won't be so useful for things that don't have what I now know are called ads. But sticks is full of stuff. And Hades summons ads and they suck. So I'm going to do this one, even if it's not the best choice. It's the choice that I took. We're going with it, folks. We're going with it. For sticks. I just don't want to die in sticks. Hi, sticks. guys. Other guy. <laughs> shall never yield the title champion of Elysium to the likes of you. Amazing. Amazing. Thanks, Agrius. You can be a little bit petty. I've always been like this. Oops. Jeez. You shall have what you came to see. I should probably not be in melee range. Given that I fight with a gun. On this whole not taking damage thing. How did he take Oh, what? Oh, no, he did take damage. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess they're testing me. Trouble here. Uh, I ought to shut him up. I did not do very well there. Oh. I do not know if it was merely for pity that Theseus vouched for the bullheaded Asterius to join him in Elysium, doubtless risking his own station there. Some say Asterius is merely an unwilling servant of his now, but I know mortal battle builds strong bonds. Is it so difficult to imagine that a peerless man like Theseus might find a peer in an unlikely soul? Oh right, Dusa! In me, my good shade. I forgot. Well, that's alright. We've lost some lives. Ah. Uh, Enjoy the rest of your existence, Shades. <laughs> uh, 
itself withstood the finest of Elysium. I did it again and I'll do it again. They Shut up. Great. <laughs> they weren't that great. Thanks, Dad. I kind of wonder if I should get another, if I should trade for the tooth. I'll pay for this. this. Don't have any money left. Should I trade for the tooth? Or should I just go with my two lives and hope for the best? I have no money, so I can't buy anything in sticks at all. Yeah, that's true. I could get an Athena boon, so I guess we might we might count on that. Let's count on that. <laughs> I still have I still have one D20. So and, and we have we have Athena already, so the likelihood of getting an Athena is a little bit higher, so. Ooh. The underworld's entryway. Those of us who lived upon the surface and made the journey here across the sticks now, now know the water's cut through a carved facade of stone, its unassuming exterior concealing a vast and in intricately carved temple built in praise and fear of the master, the god of the dead. Learn more by entering sticks 50 times. Jeez. Oh my god. That is a lot. That is a lot. You won't get all the secrets for a long time, Lauren. Jeez. Jeez. Was there a money pot? Did I miss a money pot? Oh, I did miss a money pot. Okay, well, I now got those. I got those 15 gold. That's definitely going to make a difference for me. <laughs> all right, onward, then. Shall we do it? Fishing! Call fish with no eyes. Oh my god. Longest fish ever. It's a go. Gup, 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 gup. Ooh. <laughs> Purportedly, there's an ancient water creature from which the phenomenon is derived over the evil eye. That these emotions are as old as time and life itself is both a disappointment and an understandable reality. Envy. All right, so there's a cheap Athena, actually. That's good to know. Excellent. Good. We may be able to get a death defiance off of her. Maybe. Maybe. All right, we're going to try the bosses first. All right. This way. Sure. Next. Okay. I'm feeling a bit restless here. We might get enough money to get the Athena. Oof. Hope it's not the vermin. Anything to shop for? No, that's fine. We don't have enough anyway. Can't quite get acclimated to this smell. Oh, geez. I think I'm gonna take this one. I think this one sounds good. Doesn't that sound good? This strikes nearby foes with lightning. So that means that if you throw it. Oh, 
So you stick it in someone. And then everyone around them gets struck by lightning? Yeah, I've been getting a lot of duos lately. And I haven't gotten this one before. And it seems like it would be good. When it's on the ground. Oh, that's less good. Once they fall out. Once it falls out, you want to not collect it. Okay. Well, we'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? Ooh, examine. Inside the filth and crusted layers carved into the looming edifices of the underworld lie such terrible abominations that not even grim Lord Hades is inclined to speak of them. Hmm. This gigantic vermin head deserves a lot more credit, if you ask me. <laughs> Thanks, Tegris. Yeah, I think that might have been the last mini boss I was missing. Yes. Well, let's see what happens if we, uh, if we get Athena. Should come in useful. All right, we're good. Thank you, Athena. All right, I didn't hear any more fishing, right? No more fishing, okay. I just wanted to check, you know, you know how it is. All right. Oh, oh, examine. A crudely hewn network of tunnels grows from one of the cold temple's flanks, containing vicious denizens unwelcome in this realm, even in death. Hmm. So they've cut Satan these tunnels. Markings. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why I've suddenly gotten a few of those. Oh, jeez. Okay, they're dead. I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what triggered that or the other one. I do need to try to play a little bit more defensively. I really do. But I'm not, as you can tell by the fact that I'm like basically point blank. I don't think I've got anything else I need to sell, so I think we're gonna go onward. Oops! Oh! That gave me Excellent. some good monies. So that's cool. Just trying to see. Okay, well, I've got some money. I can maybe afford something. Maybe, since apparently that wasn't it. Did get the codex update for sticks. Okay, so do I want to get. Is there a difference between these two, the 100 and the 300 one? Like, should I get the 300 one? Because I, I, I guess I could save my money. Yeah, I guess I'll save my money. We'll see. Maybe I'll get enough for a Zeus. Um, well. We'll get this, see what... Basically, button mashing as fast as I can here. Oh. Okay, well, I mashed some buttons pretty fast, I guess. I'm missing more health than I'd like to be. <sighs> My goodness. Okay. Yeah, I guess I might actually wind up with enough to get 
the uh oh Cita sack. Cool. Nice. I guess let's see what, what we've got going on here. Hear me on my authority. <sighs> I mean, wa have, wanting your god gauge to be partly full, but that's only like the start of an encounter, which at this point in the game isn't really going to matter much. So resisting damage sounds good, especially because I might wind up getting leveled up with, uh, once, what's it called? Or I could re-roll. I don't know what I'd want to re-roll for. Yeah, like, Proud Bearing would be useful if you get it early. I could re-roll. I don't know what I would want to re-roll for, but I, but I could re-roll. I've got a d20 left. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take this. I think I'm just gonna play just plain reduce damage. Let's take a sack for my boy Cerberus. Yeah. We'll see what Zeus gives me, if anything. If I I, I think I can afford shoot. him now. Time to deliver Fishy the goods. Fishy. Hi, doggy dog. That's quite a stash there, Charon. Oh, I could I could get Hermes, but I think I want Zeus. I think we want to try. I think we want to try for Zeus. I think we're gonna do it. Still don't have enough money to get Zeus and something else, but I could afford Zeus, or I could get two palms. Here's the fee. I think we're gonna take that. Is my hair sticking up? <laughs> let's go electrocute. Let's, let's go electrocute Hades, shall we? The prince compels the multi-headed hound to let him pass. And here I was thinking we were going to complete the uh, Poseidon ones, but nope. Nope. We made progress with the Zeus. Thanks, boy. River stuffed with food. All right, let's go visit Dad then. Let's go do this. I don't even know. Let's see if I can remember how to do things. So, so we now have a full complement of death defiances and full health. So hopefully we'll be okay. Before I can psych myself out, I'm gonna go. Yes, and on my my death defiances, I have a whole a whole stock of different death defiances. They're very exciting. All I could do now is also have Skelly's tooth, and then I would have four different ones. It'd be very exciting. Let's go for it. Let's go fight Dad. Blob, yes, Blob. There's gonna be so much electricity this time. Hades isn't gonna like that. All right, this is it. Hi, Dad. Again. To think Olympus has been aiding you. You must be so grateful to them for their aid, without which none of this would have been possible. No, it's true, honestly. Without boons, like, I would not at all be able to do this. Yeah, about that. Father, did, did you let Mother go because you feared Olympus would find out and not respond well to the circumstances if they did? Zagreus really wants the answer to be yes. Zagreus really wants the answer to this to be that his father loves his mother so much that he's doing all of this to protect her. Zagreus really wants that to be the answer. Be grateful they have not found out as yet for all your meddling. You do not know them as well as you think. Ask yourself why she left Olympus and how. Or better yet, ask her. You think that I'm going to beat you again, Hades? Maybe I will. Okay, so he did confirm it. Of course, in, like, a cruel and unhelpful way, but... Well, she seems quite lovely, so knowing you, you probably tricked her into signing a pact to come join you or something. <sighs> Since you weren't allowed on Olympus, why not have Olympus come to you? Oh, no. Oh, Zagreus. This is one of those cases where we, having emotional uh, distance from the situation, are able to see that this is actually very unlikely to be the case. But Zagreus, who is very, very hurting... Surprisingly not distant from the truth. I took her, boy. I took her down with me. Is that what you wish to hear? Does that anger you? Come, bring forth that anger then. I mean, that is the story. That's how the story goes. 
but when I was piecing together what seemed in character, you know, that's not the story, like, that, that didn't fall into my piece, like, that wasn't one of the pieces that I put together. That's how the story goes, is that he sees her, she's beautiful, and he's drawn to her, and so he takes her against her will. But he's saying this to make Zagreus angry. There's something here, there's something else here. Summoning his friends, okay. No big deal. Oh my goodness. Already? Oops. Did it did it hit him? I think it did. Oops. Oops. Well that's fine. If those will just sit there. That's fine. That's fine. And fight once more upon the surface rail where you were slain. Ah, shoot. Right, that's right, I forgot about this. Will I? Yeah, but this time around, I lost multiple multiple lives on my way up here. Yeah, that was that was very well timed, and I'm very glad. I've learned a few things about timing aid. <laughs> my call slightly better this time, because I've had so many times that it went right before the impervious that I was better this time. I was much better at it. Yeah, and the Defiance Recovery, like, it's, so this is not, I don't feel as cool about it as I did last time. Um, but also this one was a bit more hard won, and this is a weapon I haven't taken to the surface yet. Granted, I had a whole lot of very close runs, so I did learn how to use the gun. Pretty decently, and so that's paid off here. Um, vanquished again by my own fool kin. Are you talking about your child, or are you talking about... But I am, in, I am interested, she, he took her. But I think there's more to this version of, their, of the story than in the original, I think. I think it's more than just that. It's very curious to see. I cannot remain. That's significant. And his voice... <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Zagreus. His voice is different. The flash that time. <laughs> Zagreus. Zagreus is gloating a little bit. Was it fast? Mm. 
It's a new record. Oh, it was a new a new clear time, even with me wandering around looking for things and stuff. Okay. Cool. Wow. Imagine if I actually tried to do something fast, but that would do. You know? <laughs> wow. Amazing. Okay, then. Okay, I guess I'd better try to get some clears with some other weapons, then. I guess. I thought I'd done some clear. I thought I'd I thought I'd cleared with the fists, but I'm not seeing any. Uh, three win streak. Yeah, Zeus gun is good. Apparently, who knew? Yeah, interesting. I wonder. I wonder how fast I could go if I wanted to go fast. Hmm. Well, still very well done, Zagreus. Very well done. And here's this. Bam, Titan blood, okay. So now we can get Arthur if we want. Oh, the streak, okay. <sighs> so I appreciate that. So Zagreus knows he there are things he cannot ask in the house of Hades. So there are things he can only talk to, The Hades will only talk to him about here. Hades will not talk where anyone else might be listening. So Hades, Hades doesn't trust someone down there. Um, and uh, he sounds different when he's dying. Like his voice is different. He's always got this very judgmental sneering down your nose, which you don't hear so much sometimes when he talks to, I think it's Achilles so when he, and, and Thanatos. I think when he talks to some of his employees, he's not like as much of a jerk. Um, but there's not, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious. And I really want to know. Um, I feel like Hades told Zagreus that part of the story the way he did to try to make him angry so that he would lose control and be easier to take down, to hurt him. Um, again, to protect Persephone. Because he did say, like, he's like, you know, ask her why she's, why she's hiding from them. He, he, he didn't say, like, yes, I'm protecting her. I love her. He, he, he chose, like, the coldest way he could to answer that question. But still, you know, you know, it's still, like, I think that, that some of that is still there. I just don't think he wants to let Zagreus into that part of himself. And there's some reason for it, I think. Let's go here. Beautiful music. My feet sparking on the snow. Because I'm not supposed to be here. I cannot remain. We watch the sunrise. Beautiful. There are things here that he can appreciate, even though he doesn't feel like he belongs here. The sun. And here's her garden. That must be, the garden must, back, my son. must be entirely Hello, hidden mother. by Nyx. Because, sorry, we're checking to see if there's, nope, okay. Uh, because, like, there's no way that you wouldn't see this and know where she is if you could see it. Has this patch always been like this? Here. Has there always been grain for harvest, which is not springtime, that's fall, or has that been spreading? Don't answer that, I don't think. I might have to pay more attention to that next time. Yeah, I've only gotten a fish once, I think. Yeah, we can't give her nectar. Well, let's talk to her and see. Zagreus is dying to know the truth. So I guess we'll find out whether any of the stuff that I thought is going to come true or is, is going to be revealed to have been the truth. Probably a little tiny bit of it might be close, but I don't know. I could not stand it on Olympus, Sagrius. The blustering, the posturing, my overbearing mother. Yeah. None of it. I would have left the mountain voluntarily, except... That took you 
Except Father absconded with you, didn't he? Dragged you down with him into the underworld. So if Olympus were to find that out, I shudder to think of the consequences. How did he know that she was there, though? How did he decide to do this? What was fool it? is trying to protect me, even now. It wasn't he who absconded with me, my son. And it's more complicated even than that. I was content to leave. Hermes? Willing to make my life within the underworld. With your father. Or did Nyx set this whole thing up? I dare not ask who did bring you to father then. So essentially you ran away from home to live with him. Hmm. I mean no disrespect, but did you realize what you were getting yourself into? Yeah, he has not been a good father to Zagreus. I'm sorry, Persephone. We have a tendency to be impetuous when we are younger, Zagreus. I heard all about your father before we met. Admired paintings of him. It was very awkward at first, but he had a bluntness I fancied. A sense of principle. I much preferred him to his brothers, I can tell you that. It was very awkward at first. Okay, so she decided that she wanted... And someone got word of that, I suppose, and decided to take her to him. He didn't do it, but she didn't quite do it herself either. But she was like, oh, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is the, the, the hot stuff rebel who my awful, petty, vindictive, spiteful, hateful, controlling relatives can't stand. My mom would be so mad if I dated him. All we need is Hades to roll up on his motorcycle and rev his engine at the bottom of Olympus. <sighs> Amazing. But because she's a grown woman, because the characters in this are like older than they are when we encounter them in mythology, she has perspective on that. So interesting. So, uh, then you secretly left Mount Olympus to be with the god of the dead in the underworld, and Olympus never found out. What do you suppose would happen if they did? Did Hermes take her down there? And that's why he hasn't been around Olympus in a really long time. I think there would be war between Olympus and your father, Zagreus, if they found out. Especially now, after all this. And after all this time, they slew their parents once. If the Titans could be wiped from this world, so can we all. I know this is a very emotional moment. Do I get credit for this one? I would, I would, I would, I would elaborate on this, but I did, I did elaborate on it earlier. Yeah. So they're telling, they're clearly telling their story very well because I promise, absolutely swear, like cross my heart, I promise I have not seen any secrets on this. I have not heard anyone talk about the story of this game and I don't know anything about the story of this game. So if I am able to piece things together like that, it is because they have given me pieces in a way that I can I can put together. And the fact that I piece things together the stream before they like this like uh, almost the last time we had something like this happen it was the stream that then that thing was later revealed and that's because they give you the information you need with just enough time to figure it out on your own. Like the, they don't they don't have it like lord over you the secret after you've figured it out like they do a very good job so well done storytelling and i and it's nice to find and i mean and, but it also it may just be that the way that they tell stories and put things together is very similar to the way that i think and so it may very well be that other people may not piece this together so easily just like there are other stories that maybe i don't piece together so easily this one just may coincide with my just have a nice, like, neat little parallel brain similarity storytelling-wise part, which could be why I like the characters so much and think the characterization is so good, because it's exactly the kind of thing I like. So I had thought that Persephone being here was... This is, and this is what prompted me to think about this, is because Persephone choosing her freedom while the rest of the world freezes and starves to death is selfish. 
I can't necessarily say that I would do differently, um, depending on how bad things were with Olympus, but it's a selfish act. And given the degree of suffering in, in the human world, it would be hard to fully, truly sympathize with her in that case. So I was like, is there something else? Is her being kept secret keeping something else safe? And that piece had to be, what are they afraid of? Why is it the Olympians that they're afraid of? And that's what they gave us the last time we came up here. That was the, that was the missing piece that let me put all of that together. We already know that the Olympians are petty. We already know the problems. Like, coming into this, we know this because I've read a lot of myths. I know that. Um, but the way that it was reinforced made it feel like it was not just like, oh, we don't like them. Oh, they're petty. It was like, oh, there's more to it. And that, that gave the pieces. So they slew their parents. They could wipe out anyone. Yeah. So it makes sense. If father, he agrees with you and thinks that leaving you in hiding here, that it's the only way he can prevent that war. Yeah. I can see how your father, shrewd but also single-minded as he was, might have followed such a line of reasoning as that. Oh, Zagreus. What have I done? And of course she was young when she did this, and so she had no idea what she was getting into or what she was doing. The consequences of her actions. But Zagreus is going to have to be the one to fix it somehow. And I'm not sure how, but I hope it's an interpersonal thing and not like prophecy magical power. We'll see. No, what have I done? Oh, that. Uh, I can't. That's a good follow up line. God, I hope the Olymp Olympians don't actually make it up to her. Uh, I need to fix this. Yeah, I wonder what happens if we do get up there with no boons. I want to know more. I want to know more. I'm not done. I'm not done yet. I want to see where the story What's goes. The ah, I'm up. I'm Hi. Up. Oh, it's you. Just come on in. You're on the list. Yes. Hypnos has nothing to say because I have done. I've not given him any friendship juice or anything. I probably should. I just don't care about him as a character. But maybe I would care more about him as a character if I gave him friendship juice. Lowish on friendship juice. But who else do I want to give friendship juice to? My puppy. I suppose Meg. I do want to see what happens with Meg's story. Orpheus! 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 There is somebody. Okay. That's a priority. It's funny, I see this over here and I want to dash into it to break it to get some money. <laughs> All right, let's see what Achilles has to say. So you can tell me in due time if you decide to, lad. But I do have a question, same as you did, going into this. Why did she leave? Why did she leave you in particular? So Achilles didn't know. It's that she didn't even know I was alive. Sounds as though Nyx revived me sometime after I was born, but by that point, Mother had already left, and they let her be, for reasons I am trying to find out. Which we did actually find out, but this is a slightly old flag, I think. Ah, oh, that's quite a bit to take in there. And it explains more than a bit, I think. Look, I'm not one to speculate too much. I trust you'll find the answers that you seek as you proceed. Yes. Be patient, Lauren, and just beat the game. Thanks, sir. Oh, man. Oh, man, Achilles. Oh, I didn't even go in here last time. Oops. It's okay, it's not like there's ever anything for me in here. Hold on, I gotta inspire everyone. Mistakes are proof that you're doing your best. Oh my god, Zagreus, honey. Oh no. Mm, no. Should have gone to a physician, that's true, you should have. Puppy! <gasps> puppy! Puppy, 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 puppy. Let me give you. I need to give you some. Hold on, we gotta do this first. I am indebted to you, Zagreus, both for your friendship and embarrassment of generosity. I do like them as friends, and I do like Orpheus. And I, really I do. in turn, am indebted to you, Orpheus, for your calm demeanor and ability to accept life's greatest challenges. 
You inspire me, and I wish you the best. Zagreus is a little bit hot-headed, so having somebody who's pretty chill, <laughs> even if they're a little depressed, it's good for him. All right. Let's talk to Obvious. him. Obvious. I don't suppose you know how come I keep running into Eurydice in particular out there. For all the shades resting eternally in Asphodel, it seems beyond coincidence I always find the one that's dear to you. Okay, so this is so this is related to that. So that was a, that was a fresh piece of dialogue. I have no knowledge of the weavings of the fates, my friend. Perhaps they trample on what used to be my heart for leisure or for sport, do you suppose? <laughs> oh, Orpheus. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. The fates can't be that cruel. Oh, honey, no, they're not. Not in this case. They're trying to do something. Renovate. What can we do? Can I buy something for my doggy? I want to buy something for my doggy. No, what I want... What I want... I don't have the money for it yet. Not even close. But I want this. So it's 800. I have to remember it's 800. I got 568. It could happen. Superior plunder... Because... I, because I really want... I want... I want Homer to say something sassily about himself. So that I can be like, that's what it is. It's Homer sassing himself. Being sad. You know? It's gotta be Homer. I'll be disappointed if it's not Homer. Alright, Dad. Oh, let's talk to our puppy. Do I want to give my puppy some more? Hold on. Let's see who else is there that's around. Wait. Nix. Meg. Oh, I can give some to Meg. I give some to the dog. And then I'll be all out. But who else do I need to give to? Uh, Deuce is full. Skelly's full. Gerberos, I need... Oh, I mean, I need to keep giving some to, um, to Boldy. Uh, but that, that, that will come in time. I suspect that I, I, I suspect that you basically have to do a full round of these to Boldy. That's my guess. Deuces, no, but you know what I mean, as far as reg regular friendship juice goes. Um, because I, I'll give some to Meg because she's not always here. I guess I should talk to talk to you. What's Enjoying up? staring at that bowl I got you, boy. No fun if it doesn't fight back, huh? <laughs> the hell-forged, multi-headed monster feels no urgency to waste his precious time on simple playthings. Whatever. Much preferring to conserve his vast energy reserves in case any trespassers need to be eaten suddenly. No, I, I bet I bet if I bet if Zagreus throws the ball for him. I bet. I bet he'll play. Well, it's there if you change your mind. More pets? More pets. Oh, Zagreus. He's such a sweet boy. Alright, let's talk to Dad. Then we're gonna talk to Nyx. Father, of all the skeletons and such in your direct employ, you wouldn't happen to have any here around the house, would you? Out in my courtyard, for example? I thought we'd already asked him, but maybe Skeletons. Not. I'm sure they'll welcome you when next you visit Asphodel. You may not realize it, boy, but we have a certain standard of decency we uphold around here. He has no idea who Skelly is. Oh my god, though, fighting him with Skelly. Oh, I forgot that I could summon a friend. I should have summoned a friend against him. That would have been great. Um, it would potentially cause drama if I summoned Dusa with him, though. I don't want to get her in trouble, so maybe I'll stick to Skelly because he'll be fine. Oh man, but he doesn't know. He would say something less random and oblivious if he knew. I did summon Skelly, yeah, but I figured. Skelly's not going to get grounded or fired or whatever. Hi, Nyx. Quickly now, before you go. I know how all of this must look. Know that I was true to her, Persephone, and that I think fondly on the time she spent with us. I know, Nyx. I don't know if Zagreus believes it, but hopefully he will. Of course, Nyx. Though, why did she really leave the underworld, do you think? Besides, because of me. So what if she thought I died at birth? She did not feel that she belonged. It was a very difficult adjustment she was forced to make. And she feared that she would inevitably end up caught between Olympus and this realm. That she might start a war. Yeah, being down here when you need the spring and the sun would be very difficult. But instead, now she is where she belongs, but away from her child, who now has nowhere where he belongs. A war. 
Wars have been fought for less, I understand. And father must have been a real burden, too. Yeah. Yeah. You do not know. Ask her yourself about her time with him. But I have already said too much, and I cannot say more. Yeah, the fact that he was kind to her is a secret. I'm not allowed to know that he's not cruel to, that he wasn't cruel to her, that he's being cruel to Zagreus. Like, that's, that's, that's a taboo subject. That's why I think he made a pact that had something to do with his heart. So that's why I think. You, you know, you love, maybe you love your son so much um, that you have to give up your love for him. He must, he must never know your love or he will die. Imagine that. How's that for a gotcha? How's that for having to pay the price in, um, in a very, uh, what's that called? That, there's, that really, like, cliche, Gift of the Magi, um, how's that for a Gift of the Magi type of, 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 of trade? You may, you may keep the, uh, you may keep the person you love. Like, you may save the person you love, but you give up your love. Like, he will never, he will never know you love him. He must never know you love him. You must raise this child as though you don't love him. You must never show him any kindness or any love. Would make for some pretty bad parenting. So. You've said more than enough. I'll see you next. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, I guess I'd better give Meg some. <sighs> so I have to say about that. Such gifts won't stay my whip when next we meet up there. You realize that, right? I know, Meg. I know that you are a butt. I realize it. And I hope you never change, Meg. I hope you do. What even? I gotta tell you something, Zagreus. I'm not getting any more used to losing to you like this. I mean, you don't even stop to rub it in. You know how humiliating that is. He's not like any of the rest. They're all a bunch of petty, whiny brats. Every single, like everybody, like the Olympians, the Furies. They're all so petty and gloating and everything. And Zagreus isn't really. He does sometimes with his dad because his dad baits him. But he's pretty good about not rising to anyone else's baiting. Wait, you're saying you would feel less ashamed about the outcomes of our fights if I were to gloat more about beating you. How does that make any sense? Oh, Zagreus, you sweet boy. I wonder if he's going to try to gloat more if he beats her from here on out. I think that would be really great. Honestly, I think that would be really sweet if... Like, the next time I fight her, if he's like, yeah, take that, Meg. See, I sure showed you. <laughs> and was really bad at trash talking. Oh, my God. That was Agrius, honey. You know what doesn't make any sense? That you keep beating me. I must be getting sloppy if I'm not predictable. You're pretty predictable, Meg. Too bad none of the other wretches I have to deal with put up much of a fight. Also, it helps that I get really good boons. I'll keep putting up a fight if it's any consolation. <laughs> Though she, by all accounts, appears to lead a solitary life, she and the master's son do have some history. Though I, although I am not privy to the details and know much better than to ask. So if you hadn't yet figured out that they are exes, they're exes. I would love to give you something, Dusa, but I, I guess I've got six. What else am I going to do with them? Here's what I caught lately. I caught some fish. Oh, I got a bunch of friendship juice. Fair enough. Oh, maybe I can give some to Puppy then. That'd be nice. Uh, I've got six. I don't know what else I'm going to do with them. Do I want? Because see, like, she has this. Skelly doesn't have that. So I can try to romance her because I'm pretty sure that the arrow has to do with romance <laughs> because like obviously this is we have like Aphrodite and Eros in this universe so <sighs> I don't know do I want to give it to her or not Sophia do I want to give friendship juice super friendship juice to do so and see what happens next I might wait I might wait maybe I had another question about your relationship to other Gorgons, Dusa. So, 
I notice you're not much for hissing, snake-like noises when you speak, and so on. Is that some sort of special Gorgon language or something? Oh, man. Oh, Zagreus, I think this might be a rude question you're asking. Hold on, somebody mentions the cat, so I have to show you the cat. Sorry to have gone through so much of the game tonight without as much good catness. But here is cat. Oops. There you go. There's cat. Is that better? You have access to cat. She's such a cutie. Yes, she is. All right, so I'm pretty sure that Zagreus is being very rude here. Without meaning to be. No, um, not exactly, Prince. It's what it sounds like. It's just scary hissing, really. It takes some practice not to sound like that with a forked tongue. I really wanted to fit in. Hey, how about you? Always wondered how come you have a surface accent. Were you born here? A surface accent? Oh, wait, me? I never gave it any thought. I guess it's from my father. He insisted that he teach me how to speak himself. Maybe it's in the blood. Another thing that Zagreus and I have in common! <laughs> Sorry, folks. Hello, your resident raised in Texas by a Canadian, so she sounds Canadian. <laughs> Oops. How did that happen? Well, it's because I don't have a very good ear for dialects, as it turns out. Um, and I learned to speak from my mother, who talks a lot like me. <sighs> so there you go. Newborns have an accent because they hear even before they were born. Yes, apparently I'm just, I'm just Zagreus. My hair's not doing the spiky thing today, though. Maybe it is. Hmm. Any good deals? Uh, I don't even have enough friendship juice for that, so no. All right. Oh, I thought I got a Titan's blood. Oh, I guess I only had one and now I've got two, but I need three to be able to get Arthur. Ah, oh, no Arthur for me. Tragedy. Tragedy. All right. What do we got? The Wanton Ransack. Oh, fulfilled. we can get Arthur. Yes. 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 Was this lot the best you have, father? <laughs> All right. That is so many. That is so many. But look, there's only two I haven't gotten now, so that's good. All right, we gotta go practice. Practice, practice. Okay. Gotta do that every time. Hold on, we're gonna buy another, uh, another D20. Oh man, we're already on on our way to get another D20. Look at that. That's so many D20. Zagreus felt that he got a new D20. God, I want to go out there, but I really should not keep going because it's uh, it's uh, it's ten o'clock and I should shut down. We just spent a lot of time speculating, and I'm glad that I did my mini golfing because the mini golfing turned out to be exactly what happened in the story well not exactly but you know you know it was it was it was pretty good mini golfing they gave me the pieces they gave me all the pieces to figure it out so i figured it out it's good i i had a pretty good time thank you for sticking with me i'm sorry that we had such a yeah we're gonna save the weapon until next stream i'm sorry i had such a short stream last week but it was good actually it gave me some time to think so that we could then have a good mini golfing session and i got to listen to some final fantasy 6 music on my friend's stream so thank you all so much for joining me. It's been good to uh, good to have you here. Um, I uh, I I don't know. Streaming continues to be a really fun thing for me. Um, so we I am going to be missing not next week or the week after, but three weeks from now, um, because I'm going to uh, I'm going to a family baby shower actually, but I've got to travel for it, so I have to travel on a Thursday so that I can afford to travel. Um, so that one, I will, I will let you know as we approach that that's not happening. But in the meantime, um, if you happen to be watching me for the first time, don't forget to follow so that you know when I go live. Um, Tuesdays, 
Her Horizon Zero Dawn. We're getting into some really exciting stuff with the story, I think. Um, Hades feels like we're approaching something, which is very exciting. This is every Thursday night. Saturdays are um, Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. We're pushing our way through that game because I know that one. Um, just to let you know, um, because of said family baby shower, I will be rescheduling the concert I was going to be hosting. I said it was going to be on the 10th. It's actually going to be on the 24th. Um, I know that that's a whole two weeks longer. Um, so, so hey, there will be more opportunity for me to learn more music for it, I suppose. Um, the, the, all of the performers that I've been talking to before are still able to do it. So that will be happening. So please, uh, please uh, come to that. I'm sorry for everyone I said, mark your calendars. And then that's not happening on that day. But um, it's a, the family thing is kind of a big deal. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I've got a new song on my YouTube channel. If you haven't listened to it yet, check it out. Some Final Fantasy VI. There will be more coming. Um, oh man, next week I get to taunt everybody about the fact that my April Fool's uh, project is going to be is going to be live on Friday. Not, not tomorrow, but a week from Friday. Um, but yeah, so that's all of my everything here. So thank you for joining me. As always, you have been a, a delightful audience. Um... Yeah, no, it should be a good time. It should be a good time. Um, stories continue, writing continues, arts continues, music continues. There's been a lot of creative stuff, but streaming's been a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to get posting things up on a faster schedule, but I'm juggling a lot. Um, so yeah, take care of yourselves, folks. And I am going to, let's see if we've got anybody around to raid. I don't know that we do. Goodness. Um, so if you wanna, if you wanna raid a friend of mine, Stick around for a moment and I'll find somebody. Um, and if not, uh, we'll see you hopefully next week. All right. Take care. Goodbye.